is a contributing factor enough for the jury to know it's not a substantial causal factor, which is what they have to determine at the end of the day? I mean, this is going to be the argument. I don't know that Mr. Blackwell or Mr. Franks, who's going to make the closing, but this is going to be the distinction that the jury is going to have to figure it out. You know, we've seen really three primary strategies from the defense so far. The first was really impromptu, in my opinion, and that was that somehow there was this environment that pre prevented the um, officers from preventing care. Second, we saw this, we thought we were going to see an argument that this was policy. And I think that was completely dismantled um, by police witnesses from the Minneapolis Police Department. So thirdly, we have this idea that uh, Mr. Chauvin was not the cause of death. And I think this one is going to be complicated more so than the other two, but not so much so. Um, you know, we once we hear legal arguments, we're going to hear that it is not necessary that Mr. Chauvin was the cause. And this is what you spoke to, Chanley. Um, he just has to be a substantial cause. And we've heard from enough, enough experts at this point that that should not be an issue. You know, Mr. Nelson is going to be effective, I suspect, at presenting the drug evidence and the other um, things that were associated with Mr. Floyd's health at the time. But, I mean, think about it metaphorically. If Actually, we had a case in Michigan, we don't have to be metaphorical, where there was a home invasion and a gentleman had a heart attack and they were convicted of felony murder. You know, if I decide to go burn down a house today and somebody in the house, you know, I maybe I call in, tell everybody to get out, I'm going to burn it down and somebody is disabled in a wheelchair and they can't get out. It's not a defense that they were in a wheelchair. I'm going to be held accountable for felony murder. So you take a victim as you find them. And Mr. Chauvin found this man in the condition he did, and he should be held accountable for that.